Your channel upload defaults is a great way to save you time to autofill your links. And I'm here to tell you how you can find them in the new YouTube studio. Here we go. And welcome back to another video. I'm Alan, your YouTube certified expert. And if you're looking to start a YouTube channel, grow your YouTube channel, or push your brand out there into the second largest search engine on the internet, you should click subscribe, start creating. Now, one of the most time consuming things that any new or small YouTuber will find is that when they upload a video, they have to title it, they have to describe it, they have to put the tags in, and each time you have to remember what link did I put in, what playlist did I link to, what videos are connected. Now, there is a way to speed this up and to make sure that you've got all of the important links always in your videos, your descriptions, and your tags so you never miss out. So you don't kick yourself later. It is known as the feature as the upload default. So what it does is it auto fills all of this information for you when uploading within the upload page. And all you have to do is tweak some of the tags and tweak the description when it relates to the video. Let's go to the computer. Okay, so first of all, when you load up the YouTube studio, you'll land on this page. This is your dashboard. It explains what your latest video is, how it's performing, how many subscribers you've got. But if we're looking into the upload defaults for your channel, we'll need to go to settings on the left hand side. Now in here, you'll have your standard options, what currency you're using, what dashboard you want to use. But on the left hand side, you will now see upload defaults. In here, you'll be able to set everything that is standard, that is 100% the same, 100% of the time you upload your videos from now on. So when you upload a video, it will auto fill all of these in as default. Is there anything that you always want in your title? Is it your name at the end? Is there any tags or descriptions or links that you always want in your description? Then you place them in the description box. Now there is a section of course for your tags. You click on the extras at the top and these are your default tags. For me, there are two versions of my channel name, a short version of my channel, my little kind of catchphrase in two forms, but you might want to always put books or you might always want to put your own name and you separate them by commas and you fill them out that way. This is also a good way of categorizing your videos. Let's say you have three types of videos, books, videos, and crafting. Then you can have three types of tag there and then you remove the ones that aren't relevant. And then under advance, you are able to pick all the other features that people often overlook. What type of YouTube license you have, the language of the video, what category your videos happen to be in, whether you accept community contributions such as your subtitles, whether or not it's aired on TV, should it be some kind of advert, and your comment control. So whether you allow all comments, whether you hold potentially dangerous ones, hold comments review or disable comments on all videos that are uploaded immediately, and you can also view ratings or turn off ratings. Those are your thumbs ups and your thumbs downs. Now for help with more YouTube features that will save you time and expand your YouTube channel, there's a playlist up here. Remember to hit that subscribe button for regular YouTube tricks and tip tutorials. Go out there, start creating.